Now that we have this installed, we can go to our CAPTCHA settings. I'm going to open up Coffee by typing Alt-D and I'll type CAPTCHA, and I'll hit Enter. In our default challenge types, we now have reCAPTCHA as an option, so we'll check that, and now it will be used on both our blog entry form and our user registration form. And I'll scroll down and click Save Configuration. Now if we go back to a browser where we're anonymous and refresh, we're going to see the default CAPTCHA. That's because there are some additional configuration options that we need to set for reCAPTCHA in order for it to work. So when you run into a problem like this, a good first place to go is the README file of the module. And remember how we installed the module instructions module early on in this series? Well, we're going to use it now in order to take a look at the reCAPTCHA README file. So I'll jump back to the browser where we're logged in. I'll go to Modules. I'll do a search for CAPTCHA. Just because I have a hard time remembering if there's a dash between re and CAPTCHA. And, ah, here we are. Here's the README next to reCAPTCHA. I'm going to click that. So for installation, it says to extract the module into the appropriate directory. Enable the module. And now you'll find it available as a tab in CAPTCHA. And then we need to register for a public and private reCAPTCHA key. Ah, so that's what we need. So I'm going to open up this in a new tab. And I'll click Sign Up Now. For the domain, it's going to be giftofgeek.com. Now we can use this on other domains as well. So we can use it on our local machine, even though this isn't the full domain of what we're doing locally. And to enable that, we have to check this. Enable this key on all domains. And then we'll click Create Key. All right, so here's our public and private key. Now if we go back to the README file, it looks like we need to enable these public and private keys on the administration page for eCAPTCHA. I'm going to copy this path, and I'm going to paste it in the URL here. Make sure that there's a slash there. Okay, and here's our public and private key. So I'll jump back over to reCAPTCHA. I'm going to copy the public key. And jump back over to the site, paste it in. Go over to reCAPTCHA, copy the private key. Jump back over, paste it in. And let's go ahead and leave these unchecked for now. We can always come back in here if we find we want to do some manipulation later on. And I'll click Save Configuration. Okay, now if we jump back to a browser where we're anonymous and refresh, we now see our reCAPTCHA. Awesome. So now our annoyance to our users has become a public service. You might notice a little funkiness in where the input is positioned here. My guess is that it's trying to align it with the other inputs on the page, and our themer should be able to adjust that without a problem. Now we also have some options for the theme of this. If we go back to the settings page for reCAPTCHA and click theme settings, we can choose a variety of themes. We can make it white, black glass, clean, custom. Black glass sounds like it might match up with our site. Let's click save configuration and jump back over to the anonymous browser and refresh. Okay, so this sort of gray option here sort of lines up with the gray that we've been using so far.